Aussie Animals Part 7 The King Brown Snake, also known by some as the Mulga Snake, is the largest venomous snake in Australia. Some of you may be quick to argue it's actually the coastal taipan that's Australia's largest venomous snake. However, just like the debate of whether Spinosaurus isn't or is larger than Tyrannosaurus, this is a yes and no situation depending on what you use to determine which is larger. Coastal taipans get much longer, with one specimen being measured at about 3.38 meters long, but most tend to average around 2.5 to 3 meters. King Browns are shorter by comparison at only 2 to 2.5 meters long, with the largest on record being 3.3 meters. Meaning that in terms of length, the coastal taipan is the largest Australian venomous snake. However, the King Brown slash Mulga snake actually gets a lot bulkier, with Coastal Taipan getting to around 3 or 4 kilograms, with one 2.9 meters specimen alleged to have weighed 6.5 kilograms. Meanwhile, King Browns can get to 5 or 6 kilograms on average, and the King Brown at the Australian Reptile Park, which is aptly named Titan, during one health checkup weighed a massive 7.8 kilograms, making Titan possibly the largest King Brown in captivity. Titan also only measured about 2.68 meters in length, meaning that 3.3 meter King Brown mentioned earlier might have been in the 10 kilogram range, which is starting to get to the size of some King Cobra specimens. So yeah, I highly recommend Coastal Taipan fans be quiet now. And just as something to note, throughout this video I'll be referring to the snake as King Brown instead of Mulga Snake. And this actually brings up something interesting about the name King Brown. You see, they aren't actually in the Brown Snake family, which is Pseudonia, or False Cobra, but are actually in the Black Snake family, Pseudetius, or False Viper. Their full name is Sudacious Australis, which means Southern, or in single use, of the South. So the full name is either Southern False Viper, or False Viper of the South. Meaning, that as my dad and numerous sources I'm using for this video have pointed out, if you are bitten by this animal, you'll actually need Black Snake Anti-Venom, not Brown Snake Anti-Venom. The name Mulga Snake comes from the fact it can be found in Mulga Country. However, that's not the only habitats it's limited to. The name, to my knowledge, was proposed here due to it being a black snake, not a brown. So they chose that to avoid confusion when administering anti-venom. However, most people in Australia still call it King Brown, according to what my dad told me. None of my sources said anything about the name, so I just have to go off of his words here. So do keep this in mind if you ever visit Australia or you end up moving into or you already live in King Brown country, which is an easy thing to end up doing since it's Australia's most widespread venomous snake. Only places it's not typically found being parts of New South Wales, Victoria and the entire region that is that little island that's basically Australia's version of Alabama. In terms of diet, King Browns eat pretty much whatever they can find, whether it be small mammals, lizards or birds. According to a video I remember watching from the YouTube channel Clint's Reptiles, whenever a snake has King in its name, that typically means it's a snake-eating snake, like for King Cobra. And this is also the case for the King Brown, which is known to eat snakes, including others of its own kind which also means its venom is more suited for killing reptiles than other snakes such as the inland taipan and eastern brown, which primarily feed on mammals. Speaking of venom, when injected subcutaneously or under the skin, it requires only 2.38 milligrams per kilo to kill a person, making it either the 19th or 20th most venomous snake in the world. Though not as venomous as other snakes I've previously covered that everyone tend to drool over, this still does mean it is a very nasty snake. I mean, considering there's roughly over 300 snakes in the family Elapidae alone, you gotta have some strong venom to be in the top 20 most venomous. It also produces a lot of venom, injecting upwards of 150 milligrams on average. As a comparison, inland taipans typically produce 42 or 44 milligrams, though there have been some recorded cases of them producing 120 milligrams. And according to an article from the Australian Reptile Park, 
Titan produced roughly 5.58 grams of the stuff in one go, though they probably had to massage his head a lot to get this amount. And on top of this, King Browns are known to grip down onto whatever they bite, and even try and chew on it while injecting the venom. They are also known to be very aggressive snakes, with some reportedly biting people when they're asleep. And also, according to one source, though when I tried to find it again I couldn't find it, Northern King Browns are more temperamental than their southern counterparts. And as a final note on Venom, the King Brown is believed to be immune to at least one of its prey items, which is the Western Brown. The Eastern Brown on the other hand, as mentioned in my Eastern Brown video, is immune to King Brown Venom. In terms of predators, King Browns are one of the prey items of Parentes, which are immune to its venom, and Kookaburras are also known to eat snakes, so small King Browns might also be on the list. And don't forget, the average bogan has a big stick or some form of melee weapon lying around somewhere. When it comes to territory, besides being found across Australia as mentioned earlier, they are also found in some parts of Papua New Guinea and West Papua. Some people have argued these snakes in Papua New Guinea are in fact a separate species. They have also reportedly been starting to or have disappeared from coastal areas of Queensland. So I guess a war of the giants has commenced. Your defeat here was foreseen by the ancients. What was it they wrote? The weak shall perish? Do not believe everything you read. Also, depending on where they live in Australia, they tend to be different colours with more southern king brown populations being darker in colour, whilst ones further north are lighter. This is probably due to ones in southern areas having trouble warming up, so they've developed darker colours, such as black, to warm up better in the colder climate. When it comes to mating season, it typically happens in early or mid-spring depending on the population. Females are smaller than males and lay their eggs roughly 39 to 42 days after mating and they'll lay anywhere from 4 to 20 eggs, with larger females laying more eggs than smaller females. The eggs will then incubate for anywhere between 60 and 100 days depending on temperature. They are not cared for by their mother both during incubation and when they hatch, being forced to fend for themselves. King Browns are also listed as least concern on the endangered species list. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. The King Brown is my favourite venomous snake, so I'm happy that I made a video about it. It may not be the most venomous, or the most deadly, but it's the most widespread and largest of Australian venomous snakes, eats other venomous snakes, and is truly deserving of the title of King.